a cheap and easy way to try RC planes to see if you like them without breaking the bank. From FMS, the Easy RC 540mm PA18 Super Cub is a four channel RC plane that has flight stabilization and automatic aerobatic features. <laughs> My maiden flight, coming up. Welcome back to the channel. In our previous RC plane video, we reviewed the E-Flight Draco 2 meter wingspan from Horizon Hobby. That thing's a beast, so much detail, but it's not a plane to be your first RC plane, and that is where this plane comes in. And if you enjoy staying up to date with the latest and greatest RC content, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and comment below if you've tried RC flying yet. The 540mm PA18 Super Cub is a completely ready to fly RC plane. It comes with everything you need to get up in the air, but four AA batteries for your radio. This plane has a lot of awesome features that makes it great and beginner friendly, but before we get into that, first let's see what comes in the box. The plane was packaged well and no damage on arrival, and in the box comes the instruction manual, which you should read, a battery and charger, your radio, and of course the PA18 Super Cub. There was some basic assembly required, but I took about five or 10 minutes and it was really easy to follow along in the instruction manual. So a few features with this plane, first off the propeller blade, easily detaches and crashes, so it's designed to do that so you don't break your propeller blade. Uh, then if we move backwards, this is a four channel aircraft, so you do have control and roll with the use of your ailerons, in your for the use of the rudder at the rear and then in pitch for the use of your elevator. Now there are a few cool features about this plane which makes it great for beginners. The first one being that this plane has a gyro which helps provide flight stabilization. Now there are three flight modes for this plane. You have everything from beginner, intermediate and expert. On beginner mode, the gyro is working at its full potential. It will help to roll the plane level and keep the plane level in straight level flight. There are also pitch and uh, bank angle limitations. If we went to expert mode, it turns the gyro completely off and you have full control, all raw inputs is what you're gonna get in the plane. And then in intermediate, you get a bit of assistance. The next cool feature is that there is a U-turn function. With one press of the button, the plane will do a U-turn. However, there are some limitations to that. It will only do a U-turn in the direction that you set the plane up in. So if you set the plane heading north, then you fly north. If you push the U-turn button, it will head south. If you set it up flying north, and you head south and then do the U-turn, it's not gonna turn around, it's gonna keep going south. Finally, the other cool feature about this plane is that if you wanna do some aerobatics, but you're not really confident in doing it yourself, there's a single press of the button that will do, make the plane do automatic aerobatics, like an automatic loop or something like that. So those are some of the cool features about this plane, but it's now time to head to the park and let Amber take it for its maiden flight. Here we are at the airfield with the beautiful Amber and our tiny little supercar. This is gonna be super fun. Amber's taking it up for its maiden. And how are you feeling for today's flight, Amber? You know what? Every time we try and film this little plane, it is windy. And I think this is the fifth or sixth time. And yep. guess what? It's still windy. <laughs> still windy. So. We've literally tried to take this out five or six times. It's New Zealand, it's Christchurch, it's just gonna always be windy. Joe's gonna actually try and land this on the car roof later. So make sure you watch to the end I'll of try. the video. I'll try. To see that. Now, just to quickly show you guys the remote, we are in beginner mode, which is the exact right mode for me. You guys can probably hear the Control surface is moving and there's the gyro doing its job. Now go put it in expert mode. Bad idea. Bad idea. And okay. there is no gyro. Put it in intermediate. And then we get a little bit of assistance. Just not as much as beginner mode. Well, Amber, it's in beginner mode. I guess it's time for takeoff. I'm trying to think which way I throw it. Always into wind. So you need your takeoff clearance. Ambulance, you are cleared for takeoff. Oh, and look at it go. Absolutely. Oh, oh it's just like disappeared. Oh, that's quick. What? I just did a loop. No way, it's not possible, you're in beginner mode. I'm doing loops. <laughs> Bring it over here. <laughs> it's like a wee bunny. A little dot. <laughs> I think this is perfect for like indoors. Oh! oh what? Did you see that? Oops. <laughs> cool feature here that if you do crash, the blade just uh, pops off. It's designed to do that. And then you just click it back into place. Oh yeah. Look at it. <laughs> I can't look see it. it. So, ah. oh, oh. Oh, it's completely disappeared out of sight. There it is. So as I was saying earlier guys, these are perfect for like indoors if you've got like a massive warehouse or something, or on perfectly calm days. You know, you can even have some fun with your friends, have like landing competitions, short field landings, I've done that before. It was a lot of fun. Whoa. Oh yeah. All right, bring it back this way. Oh, oh. Oh, you're good, you're good. Try and land it in front of us. Look at it, it's not even moving. Uh, it's so hard to get on camera. Whoa. And it's gone. Joe's now on the controls yeah, because I lost it. Yeah, I've just taken over because Amber's flown this away 
It's got a way of the wind. I don't know if it's going forward or Where back. Where is it? The thing is, the key thing is, Amber, real gentle on the controls, real smooth, real tiny movements. So you're good. Key, guys, is small movements on the controls, especially these micro ones. And in these windy conditions, look at that, Amber. What are you talking about? This thing's, this thing's fine here. It's not that bad. Because you're crazy, nearly on the ground. Hand, Go higher. Oh, okay. I'm going to just hover it back. Oh, look at that. Oh, ooh, okay. See, as soon as it gets that tail in, it's away. So I'm going to bring the throttle up full power. For a plane this scale, it's, it's probably like 100 knots. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to chuck it into uh, Expert now and see what that feels like in these windy conditions. See how well it's trimmed. Oh. I'm going to do a beautiful landing right between us. This is in beginner mode. Mega crosswind going on there. Okay, ready? Oh, perfect! Look at that! Perfect landing! Right, I got a new battery in. This time let's see if we can do some uh, approaches on the runway. On the road. Okay, look, as soon as I let go, it just blows away. We've been clear for takeoff. Oh! Go. Okay, straight up. Get on that center line, Joe. Yes, I know. I'm trying, man. Bit more rudder. I know, I know. Center line's a bit far away. Break. Bring the throttle back. I know. Slowly. Watch out for that tree, Joe. I know, I can see There's the tree. tree. Don't worry. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Okay. Left wing down first, slightly into the wind. Straighten up with rudder. Oh, fool, did you see that? That was amazing. I did. Oh, look at that, okay? Give me a break, guys. It's crazy windy. For our final circuit, we're going to land on the car roof. It's called a carrier landing. Oh, there is a traffic light there. We're just going to skim light. it. We're just going to skim it. Oh, okay. A little bit high now. Bring the throttle down. Oh, we still needed a bit of throttle there, though. There's a car coming. We need to maintain control authority. Oh, he's hovering. He's going backwards. Oh, come on. Am I going to make it? We've got a car coming. This is dangerous. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so close! I just went off the side of the carrier! I'm in the ocean. We ditched perfectly. Oh, watch out. Yeah, we've gone under it. Bring the throttle back. Come on, land on the on the carrier. Oh, oh. So this is another reason why these little, real small planes are good for beginners, because they can take a crash. I mean, you can crash these things, they still survive, look at that. Big planes, you probably break a wing or something. All right, let's try again. Look, it's actually hovering. Literally hovering, not moving. Look at that, look at that. Oh, it's going backwards, Amber. I know, it was happening to me okay, before. Okay, here we go. Oh no, I'm way off, way off. You're gonna land off. on me. Oh, 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 come on, oh. <laughs> Why? That was so close. This is what I find really funny about these small planes, man. Setting up little challenges, like little random challenges like this. Yeah. Uh, worst case, you, you might break it. Uh, at least it wasn't a $500, $500 plane, you know. <laughs> but you've seen it, it's still alive after all these crashes on concrete. All right, let's come on. Oh, it's getting a little bit gusty there. It's going backwards again. <laughs> this is so hard. This would be impossible in expert mode for me. Whoa. Okay, well. Well, uh, on Amber's me. not the carrier. Man, I challenge all the RC plane YouTubers to land on their car roof. Is the carrier challenge. Ho! Oh. Yes! Woo! Yes, you beauty, look at that! It happened. It did it! I, we landed on the carrier, like, perfectly. Okay, yeah, it's blown away, but, you know, come back. Bye-bye. Come back. Thank you so much FMS for sending me out this plane to fly. It is great for beginners and it's slowly building up my confidence for when I'm going to be flying the big boys. We're going to have this plane linked in the description box down below if you are interested. And if you don't want to miss any more of our future RC content, I'm sure Amber's going to get on the big plane really soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified exactly when we post it. If you enjoyed this video and it made you laugh, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a like anyway. Make sure you're staying safe out there on your RC adventures. I'm Joe. I'm Amber. We're the RC Kiwi and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.